1969, one of the founders of IDO, Bill Moggridge, begins Moggridge Associates, an industrial design firm in London. He later goes on to be a visiting professor and lecturer at various colleges in London and is currently consulting associate professor in the joint program in design at Stanford University. In 1978, David Kelly, another founder of IDEO, finishes Stanford's product design program and starts David Kelly Design, DKD, in Palo Alto. Later, at Stanford, he goes on to create the Hassel Planner Institute of Design, also known as the D-School. A year later, in 1979, Moggridge opens ID2 in Palo Alto. In 1981, DKD designs the world's first production mouse for Apple, inspired by a prototype using a roll-on deodorant. In 1983, Mike Newtall, the last of the three founders of IDEO, begins Matrix product design in Palo Alto. He has taught at a number of colleges, including a course at Stanford University on advanced product design and human factors. He holds a BA and MA in industrial design. In 1986, Moggridge coins the term interaction design, a growing discipline focused on electronic devices and software. In 1987, the three companies that would later form IDEO worked together with Microsoft to create the world's first ergonomically designed mouse. Also in 1987, Jane Fulton Surrey introduces human factors, combining psychology and design. She came to design from psychology and architecture with a pioneering ambition to integrate social science-based perspectives with design practice and to foster our community of collaborators. In 1991, IDO forms. As David Kelly Design, Matrix, ID2, and Moggers Associates merge, this leads to numerous projects in different industries consumer health, automotive, healthcare services, education, food, etc. Then in 2001, Tim Brown is named CEO and President. He formerly led IDEO's San Francisco and European offices. He has a special interest in the convergence of technology and the arts, as well as the ways in which design can be used to promote the well-being of people living in the emerging economies. Currently, IDEO has 550 employees in eight locations, New York, Boston, Chicago, San Francisco, London, Munich, Shanghai, and headquarters in Palo Alto. Oh, welcome to the kickoff of the shopping cart project. This is Palo Alto, California, in the heart of Silicon Valley, and these are designers at IDEO, probably the most influential product development firm in the world. So we like want to figure out how to innovate in, in, by using our process, applying it. Project leader is Peter Skillman, a 35-year-old Stanford engineer. Project leader because he's good with groups, not because of seniority. He's only been at IDEO for six years. The rest of the team is eclectic, but that's typical here. Whitney Mortimer, Harvard MBA. Peter Coughlin, linguist. Tom Kelly, Dave's brother, marketing expert. Jane Fulton Suri, psychologist. Alex Kazax, 26, a biology major, who's turned down medical school three times because he's having too much fun at IDEO. Everyone appears to be equal, and they love to mock corporate America. I'll give you status, I'll give you a big red ball on a, on, a, on, a, on a post, and that says you're a big guy. If you got a ball, you're a senior vice president. <laughs> you know, what do I care, the desk, the red ball, it's all the same. <laughs> In a very innovative culture, you can't have a kind of hierarchy of here's the boss and the next person down. Day two and the start of IDEO's unique brand of brainstorming. They call it a deep dive, a sort of total immersion in the problem at hand. So it's that whole thing of trying stuff and ask forgiveness, you know, instead of asking permission. It's the way people come up with new ideas. IDEO has such a reputation for innovation that client companies are increasingly asking Dave, not just for new products, but also to remake their corporate cultures. Back at the shop, it is 6 o'clock, and the four mock-ups are ready for showing. The design is still not there. But there's another motto at IDEO, fail often in order to succeed sooner. A lot of hours. Also, an open mind, a boss who demands fresh ideas be quirky and clash with his, a belief that chaos can be constructive, and teamwork, a great deal of teamwork. 
and these are the recipe for how innovation takes place.